and I knew I would get this. So it's okay. It's okay. Um, hang on, where are they? Let me let me find the people. I got the people on on Twitter here. Oh, it's okay. Uh, video show twenty two br who says afraid of the Lakers. Nobody, never, ever. If you cannot pass against the nine seed in the play in, you're not going to do nothing when it comes to facing teams like Denver, Minnesota, and the Clips. And then let's see. Uh, a Wall says this is a uh, dumb bleep take. All right. And then Ace, this is my favorite. That's a losing mindset. Oh. Okay, let me help everyone with this. My mindset doesn't matter. I'm not playing tomorrow night. I'm not going to play. I'm going to watch the Warriors. I'm going to root for the Warriors because I don't know any other way to do this. But if you're asking me what is the Warriors' path of least resistance, it is absolutely for them to not have to face the Lakers in the play-in tournament. That's not fear. That's... Vegas odds. That's history. And it's matchups. This whole idea that fans do, if you can't win that game, then you can't win this game over here. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Right. Your matchup against the Lakers has got nothing to do with your matchup against any other team. So uh, I look at this right now, and I'm uh, I'm ready for all the Sacramento smoke. You're still adorable, and the Warriors can still beat you. And you're all injured. The, the, the Kings are clearly, like, look at it like a lion. You've all watched the Animal Ooh. Planet, right? Shout out to Serengeti. And the lion comes up on a big group of gazelle. What oh. does the lion do? Look for the weak one. I'm going to go for the fast one because if I can't get the fast one, then I'm just not going to survive on this planet as a lion. No. Go for the one that's limping. Mm. Get the limping gazelle. Shout out Malik. Give me the Sacramento Kings next Wednesday night. Yeah. Please. I mean, limping, they've they've been doing pretty well of late, but uh Who the Kings? Yeah. Oh, five and five in their last ten. Right. And eh. I mean, the roster is a little depleted. You lose Malik Monk and Herder's out, and so you start to think about even in a short one off, a one game scenario. They're a team that's not nearly as dominant as they were earlier in the year. And if you go even further back, they're they're twelve and ten in their last twenty two. So even before the injury, they were showing signs of maybe being a little bit wobbly. Yeah. I just don't you know what I mean? Like if you know it's raining, you bring an umbrella. Like why right? what's this obsession with making things harder on yourself? Right. Like it, it, if you all believe oh the Warriors are playing well. And they're champions. They've got the DNA. That makes them dangerous. You just described the Lakers also. You just described the Lakers. You all want to play Minnesota or Oklahoma City because, well, they've never been there before. Same with Sacramento. So, like, <laughs> play them. Play them. Same with New Orleans. Right. Play them. I absolutely, if I could have my pick of the way this plays, the Warriors take on the Sacramento Kings a week from Wednesday, they win that game and then face the loser of the Pelicans and Lakers, which I believe will probably be the Pelicans, who are 4-6 and six in their last 10 games. And you never know if Zion's going to show up in a game or not. I would play them in the second game and then hope that when you pop out the other side, um, ideally the Oklahoma City Thunder are waiting, and if not, the Timberwolves are waiting. Right. And then... Take your chances. Exactly. That's exactly the way I hope this plays out. Yeah, and the Lakers are a team that, you know, as much as you don't fear the Lakers, they have won 9 of 11 since the Warriors beat them in their last meeting back in March, on March 16th. They promptly went out and won five in a row. They lost a game to Indiana. Then they won four in a row. This Laker team is playing great at exactly the right time, and it'll be fun to see it tomorrow. And you, you threw out an interesting thought. And it's more of a tomorrow conversation, but do you lay down against the Lakers well, in order to get them up to the eight and ha maybe have the Kings fall down to the nine? So, so It's an interesting thought. It's an interesting thought. My answer would be no, though, in terms of laying down. I, I, can, I can simultaneously sit here and tell you what I think is the path of least resistance. I also think it's incredibly dangerous and dumb to try to engineer it. You know what I mean? Like... I, 
<laughs> make love and have the baby. The baby comes when the baby comes. Like I don't don't go engineer this thing if you don't have to. Right is the way that I would look at this. Because by the way, you can engineer it all you want. You still won't get what you want. You True. can lose to the Lakers tomorrow night, and then you end up still with the Lakers. Uh, in, in L.A. the following Wednesday. That's I don't completely... know if you want to engineer it to the point where you're trying to concoct like a certain opponent in the play-in, but at the same time, I do think you look at Steph and you look at Wiggins and you think about maybe resting them. Like You, you give Steph another game and you let Steph maybe get another day fresher. And I kind of called this last week or the week before where when you lock into the 10, it might be a good time to give the chef a game or two and yeah, you might you know want to think about giving Clay or Draymond a game off. Make sure that when you get to game eighty three, that these guys are as fresh as they can. No be. doubt, but I mean they did that last night with Steph. Exactly. Um, and I know that they knew that they could beat Utah without him. And I'm sure that the Warriors are angling to win this basketball game tomorrow night. Because here's the other thing: the reality of this is it's not a hundred percent off the table that the Warriors end up in the seven eight game. And until it is, you cannot mess around. You cannot mess around. However, yeah. even if they play well, they're still probably going to end up in the 9-10 game. Well, they're three back at Sacramento. They're two back, but they lose the tiebreaker. You're three back with four to go. Correct. I mean, how, at what point do you want to expend extra energy and effort to chase something that's probably not there no, for you? No, you don't. Yeah. You don't. But I'm gonna I, if I'm the Warriors, I'm going to try like hell to beat the Lakers tomorrow night. I'm going to root for them to beat the Lakers tomorrow night. But here's what I'll say. Two things. One, if they lose, it's going to take me uh, about a minute and a half to get over it. <laughs> right. And and two, here's what I'd say about what you're talking about. No, I would not sit the guys out, but I'm also not pushing them. Like if you've got, like we've seen before, if the Lakers and Warriors end up in one of these offensive firepower deals and it's 122 to 121, and, and it, like I'm not going, okay, Steph, Give me the whole fourth quarter. Give me 37 minutes tonight. I'm not doing it. And Steve, they may lose, and Steve may have to answer questions. But like, just well, Grandy like he, came down his road after the uh, the, the Steph 29 minute uh, thing. You did the controversy, not directly to him though. He no. said it to you, right? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, we did a whole show on it when Would they lost. Put, what, uh, was that not to Dallas? That's when they lost. No, it was Minnesota. To Dallas. It was Minnesota. Oh, it was? Yeah. Well, he it was played twenty nine fifty one on that oh, Sunday yeah. in Minnesota. You were mad about <laughs> Kaminga after the Dallas game. Yes. That's what you were mad about. I was mad about You're that. You're mad about a lot of things over there, Grady. Yeah. You okay? I mean, just imagine if they won both those games, <laughs> right. how, how things would be different they right now. It would be different, right? Big time. I bet those teams feel that way about a couple games, too, mm -hmm. though. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I'm not pushing Steph tomorrow night. I'm not pushing anybody with extra minutes to try to, like, grind out that win. I'm going to play it hard. I'm going to play it my normal way, though. Normal rotations, because you're right. Like, God forbid somebody gets hurt this week. Sure. In an effort to get ready for next week, because next week is now, to a certain degree, solidified. And next week is bigger than this week. And of course. And this week you got a Thursday and a Friday. So I wonder about those games, the back-to-back -back Portland and New Orleans, if they might look at – Sitting some guys in each of those nights. Um, Portland on the road. Then you got to get on the plane, come right back here. Right back. Right. And then Utah on Sunday. And then that's a wrap.